Good morning. Hey, hey there. It's uh, Don Champion here at 7 News. Uh, well, what's the latest that you can tell us with the fire right now? Right. Well, we're still reporting 8,000 uh, acres with 0% containment, but we do know that the fire grew significantly overnight. Uh, we're just waiting for the updated figures to come out of the uh, morning briefing. As you just indicated, there are now 18 structures uh, reported uh, uh, damaged, and we're having uh, wind gusts up there this morning up to about 45 miles per hour, which is really uh, causing uh, trouble for the firefighters, and the winds have shifted causing it to uh, move down into the south-southeast direction. Uh, we have had a lot more evacuations uh, this morning. I think you've been reporting those. Uh, one other piece of information, there is a citizens meeting this morning at 9.45 a.m. at the Cash Laputer Middle School. Uh, the sheriff will be there to uh, brief evacuees on the current status of the fire. Uh, one other key piece of information is that Poudre Canyon Highway 14 from Ted's Place to Stowe Prairie Road is closed and will probably be closed most of the day. Now, now I know you said 18 structures so far. Uh, any word on what kind of structures these were? Yeah, I, I'm sure it's a combination of both homes and outbuildings. Okay. Now, I know there's a zero percent containment, like you've said. What's the priority today for crews out there? Well, again, uh, public safety and firefighter safety are the number one priorities as we continue to try to get people evacuated out of the area uh, because in addition to the uh, notifications. We've sent out now totally over 1,600 emergency notifications uh, for this fire. And so they'll be also having deputies go door to door to make sure people are uh, uh, notified and, and are getting out. The second priority, of course, will be uh, structure protection where we can, and then we'll uh, begin trying to get some uh, containment. Now, let's talk a little bit about those evacuation orders. Uh, any people in, uh, surrounding that fire that should be on guard uh, to be prepared to evacuate today? Well, I, I think all of the people that were under the pre-evac notifications uh, are now included in the evacuations. So uh, at this point in time, we haven't issued any additional pre-evacuation notices. Do you expect that to happen, though? Uh, it's difficult to say. It will depend upon the conditions today. Now, I know at last check there were still two people unaccounted for. Any updates on that? Yeah. Uh, we're uh, still trying to track this down, and we don't have any new information on that. Okay. Now, tomorrow, a Type 1 management team will take over the fire. Oh, what does that exactly mean for this firefight? Well, there are basically three levels of fires, Type 1, 2, and 3, and uh, Type 1 is the most severe, uh, indicating that uh, a lot of structures are threatened, a lot of evacuations, uh, a high resource needs fire, and so it just uh, helps to uh, prioritize uh, where the fire is in comparison with other fires in the United States. Now, I know the wind gusts up there, you said up to 45 miles per hour. How will that uh, impact the air attack today on this fire? Well, uh, we're waiting to find out uh, for sure exactly uh, where the aircraft, we do have quite a bit of aircraft available to us today, yeah. and we're hoping that they'll be able to get up there. The winds won't prevent them from flying, but we'll uh, know more about that in just a little bit. And once again, a briefing for the media at 9, and then a citizen's briefing at 945 at uh, Cash Laputer Middle School, right? That's correct. All right, John Schultz with the uh, Larimer County Sheriff's Office. Thank you very much for taking time out of your busy morning right now. Okay.